I don't remember Busted. I don't remember That's Busted. That's the one with the other Johnson sister on there. Uh, oh, with oh, with Kim. Where, yeah. where he was yeah. looking too, trying to look too young with the Boston Celtics jersey on. Yeah, with the I remember. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> look at Stacey <laughs> shaking her head. All right, look, first and foremost, um, I, I, I want to talk about women's reactions to Ronald Isley on the interweb. Y'all are flipping um, out. I am disgusted <laughs> and ashamed <laughs> of the way some of these young girls talked about somebody grandpa. Um I like it may it, it I don't on Father's Day, I don't want to post a picture of my grandfather this year because I don't know what people are gonna say. It was very you calling him uh, a zaddy. <laughs> I was calling him zaddy. Tongues hanging out. And I'm like, um, are y'all serious? Like, re- like they're doing like, too much. They're doing doing too much. the most. I'm like, why are y'all now? And at the same time, I know y'all got sugar daddies and y'all inbox <laughs> trying to trying to get you. And that's their business. That's their business. Stacey. And you've been ignoring <laughs> them. Okay, <laughs> somebody's Paul Paul has been trying to grab you for a while, and you've been ignoring him. But all of a sudden, Ronald Risley on there with a shiny suit, and you want to be with him. No. Uh, you better yeah. let Virgil take you out. Right. Virgil. He said Virgil. Listen, it is some look, somebody papa want to hang out with you and you uh, you. No thanks. That's funny. But once it's all said and done, Mr. Ozzy looked really good. Yeah. He looked really good for that seven yeah. what, 79 years old, 80 years old. He yeah, 79. Um uh, I saw on Tef Poe's page. Was the designer a local? Yeah, Brandon, Brandon Vaughn, Brandon Vaughn um, yeah. been designing him. I don't know if he designed him Sunday, but he's been designing him. Okay, Brandon yeah, Vaughn. Okay, Brandon. I, yeah, I saw some on Tef Poe's page. I, I think um, he did design him uh, on, on Sunday. Page. Yeah, I've seen that print though. That the, the silver, the, the that had the more silver accents on it. Kev on stage had on like that same suit like a month ago, and I posted that on my page. Like, okay, I know I've seen this suit before. Like, if it's it's if it's not the exact same suit, it's so similar. Like, and I just refuse yeah. to believe that people are just going out buying that fabric and creating stuff. <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't a, it wasn't a super unique pattern. I didn't think. Yeah. Right, and Kev went to Macy's and got it. So Ron Carlin said, <laughs> "Well, Lorenzo's." <laughs> Put up the Harold Penner real quick and picked out a nice young suit. Let me share share something with y'all about verses too. I haven't said this on on social media or anything yet, but I actually got invited personally by the Osleys to attend Sunday night in in LA. I'm I'm friendly with the Osley brothers, uh, particularly with Candy Osley, which is Ron's wife, as you know. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't do it because I was it was I was traveling already, had a pre pre planned vacation. And I just couldn't switch it around to make it work. But I was, I could have and should have been in that audience watching that versus live. You know, I needed to be there. To see your live, uh, live feedback in regards to Steve Harvey's, (laughs) (laughs) because what we need, it needs to be discussed. We didn't have cell phones. Talk about it. Talk about it. We need to. It, wow. So I understand that he wanted to host, and I, I get why he wanted to host. I understand um, how the groups impacted. I, I'm there. I get that you even maybe you maybe personally had a story for each and every song. We didn't need to hear it though. Did not need and to then even when he was like, "Oh yeah, it was this song came on. I was dancing with a girl. I needed a new zipper." You. <laughs> See, no, somebody like yeah. Kevin or uh, or you, Stacey, should have hosted something like that because there's certain songs I always wanted to ask questions about them actually being made. Like, for instance, Voyage to Atlantis, so people are supposed to say the song about someone dying. Like, that's something I would have wanted to know. Like, hey, I would like to know that too. Stories, yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Right, but that's, that, that's that's what you do if you host it like that. Have been cool, you know. Like we didn't get enough of that. It was all about Steve's personal recollections of the songs. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure every recollection that he had of the song was authentic either. They, you know. Oh, <laughs> I can see you feel that. Me, yeah. Every one of them said, I walked good, five miles. Good story or good comedy, but like, I, I don't know if I yeah. believe it. I walked five miles. Do you remember <laughs> on record. years on oh, Saturday Night Live, there used to be a skit where it was like Chris Farley and he'd be doing these interviews with celebrities and he'd be like, do you remember when you uh, was out here and, and, uh, and you wrote that song? Um, yeah, like to me, that was Steve. Like he was like this, this fan, this super fan mm-hmm. who 
wanted to, he was asking questions, but they weren't about anything. They had no substance at all. Like, who wrote that song? Y'all remember when y'all wrote that song? I remember when you wrote that song. Well, thank you. There it is. There it you, is. This is no substance at all. We've learned nothing at this point, and we're five minutes in. <laughs> he got roasted for four yeah. hours. And I think they made a call toward the second half. They didn't, he didn't talk at all the second half. Somebody made a call was like, yo. They pulled him aside. He knew that he, but he even mentioned, he's like in Twitter telling me I need to be quiet. This is what old folks do. Old folks sit around and talk. So Patty and Patty and Gladys sat around talking to each other and we were fine. We, were we fine. know that we old folks fine. talk. Mm -hmm. Like they sat there giving greens recipes and, and who died? And I they didn't need a host. They didn't need a host. And they didn't need a host. And if this anything, was, if they this would was the first one with a host, wasn't it? I, I think it was. I feel yeah. like it was. I think I even, like was. even if Gladys and Patty would have had a host, uh, it just would have been somebody been like, okay, let's move on to the next one. And then probably still would have got told off by one of them. Be like, uh, uh, hey, I'm talking. So who, who would that have been if, if, who, if, if they had a host? Who would Ooh, that have been? That's a good question, Kevin. How about Kevin, that? Jumping in well, this is good. <laughs> This that's is exactly what we do. Loretta Devine. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at I that. Say like Loretta Devine. I don't know. There's like, a bunch of motherly Donnie love. Sim or, or, like Donnie uh, Simpson or somebody? Or Jennifer Lewis. I, don't I, know. I was going to say Jennifer Lewis. Lewis. I was going to say Jennifer really. Lewis. Yeah. But Donnie Simpson, too. He would have been better for the Ozzy Brothers. I think he would have been better for the Ozzy Brothers. He loves the Ozzy Brothers. He loves the Ozzy Brothers. He would have been better. He would have been better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Donnie would have asked some questions. Right. And it's right. like I said for yeah, for Gladys and Aretha, they just they just needed somebody to you said Gladys and Aretha. Track, to just you say, said Gladys okay, and Aretha. But we just need oh who did I say? You said Gladys, Gladys and Aretha. Gladys and, oh, oh Patty. Lord rest the soul. <laughs> Lord rest the soul. Gladys uh, let's listen to our debate we had in the text group. Uh we weren't we probably weren't gonna talk about this verses until so we won't talk about the actual verses. We're talking about what the matchup should have been. <laughs> <laughs> with Escape versus SWV, which I think is not even a, a contest. I didn't even know y'all young folks out here that are listening really think this is going to be a battle. Who thinks that's a battle? It's, it's a lot of people, man. If you look at them po online polls and stuff, it's people thinking that Escape's going to win. Yeah. No. But can I ask y'all this about that? Because when, when they first announced that, my thing was like, when neither one of them, I said, they don't have 20 hits between them. So I how does that SWV make does. sense? Does. Are they going to cut it in half and everybody do ten? Even SWV then, they're still though. scraping for hits. I don't. I, I don't. SWV I don't understand. Does, though. I think SWV Who does? does. I think SWV, SWV has may have twenty with a couple remixes in there. SWV. Yeah. yeah. I don't think. I don't think Escape has twenty. Damn sure Escape don't. <laughs> Damn sure. They look. They got to play that Candy song. Uh, don't think I'm not. You think nah. that's gonna be played? You think that's not gonna be played, Stacey? I'm just saying. <laughs> or Scrubs? Then then yep. um then that's Tiny Rice Scrubs. That's you get, it. Uh, they get a, they, Scott. Yeah. You play Liar Liar. That ain't nobody gonna know but me. Um. And they are gonna play what's the song that uh, uh Candy did with uh E40? They are gonna do that one too. Uh, you and that booty. Yep. Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> they, I mean, they can do their their features. So they would uh, have to. They would have. So MC Light like, keep on keeping on. So it's gonna be on there for sure. You, you're doing oh, yeah, yeah. songs right now. They would have to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, remember that song with Old School from St. Louis? Uh, uh, the remake. Uh, oh yeah. Um, am I dreaming? Am I dreaming? I love that version. I love it. Me too. I do so, too. It can like it. The th my my whole thing was with the two of them going against each other because of when they were all they were out at the same time in, in the nineties. Um, and then there are just certain, like I said, there are certain breakup songs that are like just a part of my you know adolescence. And some of them came from Escape, some of them came from SWV or certain or uh, certain R and B songs. So to me, that's how the matchup kind of goes. It's not that they're comparable that much, but it's just that they they were around at the same time. Mm -hmm. That's it. Um, but then Daryl <laughs> Daryl. Earl see it. 